Hey, Diana, what do you got there? Hey. Well, this is a vintage Nutria coat. It's a uh, real fur from um, Argentina, which is in the beaver family, and it's gorgeous. These coats retail like $1,500, and we're asking $150. I've got a cropped leather jacket with three-quarter sleeves, extra large. It's in great shape. It has been worn a lot. $20. Bucks. I've got this amazing velvet anthropology uh, formal top that I maybe wore two times, maybe three times, size 14. Asking $35 for that. This is a never worn skirt. I don't know what happened, but I got a size that was just wrong. And um, so it's brand new, never worn. 30 bucks, Anthropology. This skirt down here is also Anthropology. The original price on this was $180, which I didn't pay for that, but it's never been worn. So 50 bucks on that. This little cute jacket, which has got a um, kind of a hood back here. 15 bucks. This is a vintage piece that I got in East Nashville. It's 100% leather. Um, I'm sorry, leather wool and 35 bucks. These curtains are actually shower curtains and they were $100 a panel and my daughter had them in her room for a long time. So there's a little bit of fading, but they're really well made and we're asking $25 for each. So I think you can put it in a bedroom if you want or use it as a shower curtain. Um, maybe Peter, you could tell a little bit about some of these items. I get the easy stuff. See that? So this is a full size headboard for a bed. And we also do have the frame below that. So if that's something you guys could use, um, we just put $30 on there. Listen, if you have a better offer, just make those. We've cleaned out our garage and just making a couple next steps to get things organized. So anything you guys need. Just mention a price for it and we'll work something out, I'm sure. <clears throat> this table has a lot of goodies on it. Let me just kind of go through from this end. So first of all, you've got this River Run Lounge. Um, you can get those places for 19 bucks. Just put $10 on there. Um, this Echo, first generation, let me flip that up there. Still's got the box and everything else in there. Um, those right now, even though they're first generation, are selling for 65 So if you uh, want to pay 30 or best offer for that, that'll be great. And um, have you heard of these Victory Performance insoles for athletes? This one's a size 10. Um, you can look up Victory online. This retails for $199. It was worn twice. So we're just um, trying to get $60 out of that or just make an offer for that as well. Um, over here, we've got this Warring Pro. It's a professional um, cork remover, wine opener, and you can still get those today for 60, but we're asking 30 for that guy. And then Ham behind the purses there, there's a Hamilton Beach carving set with electric knives and all the pieces are there. I think that was used once. So you'll just see a retail price on some of these things and then what we're asking for them. These baskets are awesome. Diana had those in a mudroom setting where you could put the kid's name on those and some leather straps to hang them up on a hook. Um, that was Those are a restoration hardware baskets. So those are four of those. Um, there's a VTech baby monitor here. Um, I'm going to go over these two before I let Diana go through the purses, but I grew up with these Walt Disney um, encyclopedias. They've got numbers 1 through 20 down here. Um, with all sorts of things from animals to nature, inventions, things of that nature. And then every year they came out with a yearbook like what happened that year. And that goes from 1977 all the way to 86. Um, and then over here we've got this set of professional cupping devices. I'll just open that up. I'm not sure if you all are familiar with that, but cupping is a good therapeutic. As featured in Karate Kid. As featured in Karate Kid. <laughs> So that is a $10 thing. And then over here, we've got Science and Invention um, yeah, before Google. So there you go. And then right here, I've got a couple clubs that are left over. Um, I actually do have a cool set of junior boys clubs or girls clubs. These are, whoa, come back here, camera. Just give me a second here. These are Cougars. Um, 
and they're X-Cats Junior set. You can find those online for $69, and just if we can get 40 or so for that, that would be awesome. So, Diana, why don't you come back here and okay. walk us through these. So, um, you want to start over here? Sure. So, I have some things that have never been used that were um, part of my mom's estate that I got to have and she's got this great handbag for 30 bucks uh, a Mish handbag and I think this has never been used I can guarantee these because they have price tags and tissues inside and the original bag for the Michael Kors uh, coral bags you know the retail 200 and actually I didn't even put the ultimate retail price on some of these this should go for 268 when we're asking 120 for this this would go for 89 the wallet, and we're asking 30 for that. Here's a little cute Banana Republic, like little clutch bag with a gold chain. And that's never been used either. It retails for 89.50. We've got the original price tag on it. Um, so we're asking 45 for that. This is a beautiful handbag with this great closure um, clasp. I think this has been used. So we're asking 30 for this. Cute little owl purse for five bucks. Some of these things now are, are um, things that come from South America. This genuine leather handbag, I don't believe that this was used. 20 bucks. Neither, none of these have been used. Um, and they're leather on one side and suede on the other. 10 bucks. We've got these three little linen bags. 10 bucks a piece. Little mini blue bag, two bucks. These little mola, this is indigenous Indian um, work and it's leather and we're just asking five bucks for these little pouches down here we've got um handcrafted from an Asheville artist um felted bag and that's 10 bucks it's like new and then this great tote bag that has lots of pockets it's deep 30 bucks genuine leather little tote um three bucks this is a vera bradley purse that i really enjoyed didn't wear much um slightly worn 10 bucks and this is a great deep bag, um, leather and beads, 25 bucks. And then here's another one made by a North Carolina Asheville artist, 15 bucks, and it's lined. So I think that's it for the purses. These are sitting up against a JVC TV. For some reason, I can't get that to start, but we do have the remote control for it and the power supply. If anyone wants to figure that out, just um, come and grab that. That one's free. This is a great um, foot massager. It was awesome. Yeah, it really was. And um, we just found that we didn't use it as much as we thought we might, and um, but it was great. It's got a remote. It, it sells for about $600 from the back store. So if someone wants to enjoy that, it goes from your toes to your heels, up through your calf muscles, and lots of different settings. But um, $100 or best offer for that guy. How about the frames? or? Is that where we are? Yeah, let's do it. Well, okay. hit, get the walker and those boxes okay. back there too. So, so we've got um, walker that's adjustable height, and um, that's fifty bucks. And then we've got these brand new wardrobe boxes that have never been used. They're still um, here from strapped. Home Depot. You could get each one of those for fifteen dollars, but if you want to grab those, you know, ten or fifteen bucks for both will be just fine. Yeah. All right. So we've got a lot of frames. Um, We've got these 8x10s. All the frames on this case are just 5 bucks. So four 8x10 frames. We've got um, one, two, three, four, five, five by 7s This is 3 by 5 doesn't have a glass thing. So, um, And then we have this beautiful inlaid box that has a tray. It's deep. It's keepsake. And it's got a frame inside. We're asking 35 for that. A um, little wood horse for 8 here is one of these, um, what do you call these? It's, it's a digital, this is yeah. Sony's LED digital picture frame. It's the S frame. You can get it um, on Amazon right now for 180 So this has been used slightly, but it does have the power supply and the remote. So $40 will get you that. You just take your little memory card, stick it in the back, or a USB chip card, put it in the back, and it'll just display all your pictures for you. And then before the shoes, there's an ironing board back here. Um, just grab that for 5 bucks. Have some leftover things from construction so there's some electrical things here and this box is for a dryer vent in the back of a dryer there's an electrical whip right there and then some vent covers right here that um those vents would go on the crawl space type vents 
Okay, so I have a shoe problem, which I'm trying to rectify. And these top shoes are basically never worn, never worn, never worn, never worn. Well, tried to wear inside the house, never left the house. Worn ones, never worn. And um, this is just, they're, they're fine shoes. They what just, size are all your they're shoes? They're all diet? nines or European sizes are 40s. So this is basically all new. The rest are used. Now, these were super expensive when I got them um, at uh, Two Old Hippies in Nashville. And they're a Patagua brand. Size 9. They're really great shoes. 30 bucks. Uh, these little brown wedges were really fun to wear. And I might regret it, but um, these are 10 bucks. Then I just fell in love with camper shoes from Spain. And these are just amazing. They're old, but they're still, you know, in good shape. I've got these great over-the-knee boots that are suede that I think I wore one time. Um, 30 bucks for those. These fry boots right here were originally $400. I didn't buy them originally, but they're size 10, so they were never the right size for me. So I'm asking 30 bucks for those. These are vintage shoes, uh, 15. These are Neos, size 9. They're really great leather shoes with elastic crisscross on the front for 30 um, down here, I've got these beautiful formal pumps that I wore for an occasion one time or two times maybe. And, um, were those I, your wedding shoes? Well, they were going to be, oh. but then I ended up going with another pair instead. Nice. So I, I actually think I wore them one time, but asking 75 for those, some Italian shoes, um, used 10 bucks. And these are Colombian Mola. Again, if you appreciate that kind of artwork. Um, they're very unique and those are very worn. These are like new um, These really funky shoes. I got in Chicago Columbia size 9. They're great for warm weather um, This vase little amaryllis Faux vase. What else do you want to take it from here with these other things? Sure so we have this <clears throat> massive five drawer Industrial strength. It's really heavy guys but um, this is made in, Cal in uh, Rochester, New York, if that really matters at all. But <clears throat> it's a great five-drawer file cabinet that you might be able to use. Um, this Cisco wireless router is an 800 series, uh, 881W. <coughs> We're not using that anymore from our office, so you can take that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Epson printer works fine. We just got a little tired of wrestling with all the different ink cartridges so we went a different direction so that's available for you um, then down here this is quite a story so Monte Carlo makes ceiling fans um, this is their 44 inch airlift <clears throat> it's really cool it just sits idle like that looks like a <clears throat> chandelier and then when you're on slow speed it spreads out high speed um, it spreads out even further um, this is a crazy story. We paid six seventy five for the one that's in our living room right now. Um, this one needed the replacement for that lower glass, and you can still get that lower glass replaced. So we just put it down to two hundred dollars, and we can help you get that lower glass replaced. Then you'll have a over six hundred fifty dollar ceiling fan, which is amazing um, for a couple hundred bucks. Um, then these chairs, these are made by Falcon. We've had a lot of good use out of them. There's actually 12 of them. So some of them are dark, dark red. Some of them are a little orangey. But there's a set of 12 for those. And then this is a 20 by 20 decorative grate that can go over your air filter. So instead of those white plastic um, air filters, you could get something decorative like that. And then you want to go from here? Yeah, guys. Um, I actually hate to get rid of this little chair I had. This is probably the last one to survive all my kids. But um, I've used it. I've hung it from the wall and used it as a shelf. So, and the ceramic um, Tijuana Mexican towel holder. If you, you want to get creative or if you are got a bohemian kind of style. You just build that into your tile when you're building tile. Mm -hmm. okay. Get a towel rod. All right. Okay, some other leftovers, things that we never use. This is a countertop microwave by GE. 
700 watts, um, brand new for $100. We never used it. We got one that hangs instead of a countertop one. So if you want a countertop microwave for your kids going to school or an extra room, that one's for 50 bucks. Then this came from Lowe's. Um, guys, this is one of those light fixtures that you put on your wall. Can you hold that, Diana? Mm -hmm. Put on your wall um, over some sort of art, over a painting. So they call that a painting. Why is my handheld thing jumping around on us? Okay. So that actually we bought for $200, but if you uh, want to wire that in at your house, that's 50 And then this other fixture has got a great light to it when you um, shine light through the inside of that. So $20 will get you that, and the wiring and everything you need for that is inside. This is uh, another Westinghouse. This is a uh, espresso color. It, everything's in there. We just popped the top open and decided to go a different direction for that room. So that's a brand new ceiling fan for $50. And over here, there's a ice cream maker with a wooden bucket and those sell for 100 bucks and that's $30. And we do have some leftover tiles if anyone has a need or interest for tiles. Um, you can come and take a look through those. There's a grayish brown color there. Um, and then there's some little pieces back here as well. And then we've got a few garden tools that you might have use for. This little vac can go for a dollar if someone needs it. A little run of hose. And then this is an electric edger that still works great. Um, there's an electric um, hedge trimmer as well. And then this chainsaw is a pollen chainsaw. Um, I got it used. The rope got messed up on me. I never fixed it. But if you know how to get that fixed or want to do that, you can get a chainsaw here in pretty good condition. And then a post hole digger and a sledge with a little axe on one side of it. So I don't know if we got everything or what do you think? Not your face. No, nope, that's perfect. We don't need my face. <laughs> All right. So we, um, we just had done redone our garage. We're getting some storage units or some storage shelving we finished up here across the top. So in the meantime, a lot of things came up that we needed to get rid of. And before we make that goodwill stop or to the dump, we wanted to give you guys an opportunity. So give us a call if you want more information about any of these guys. Um, we'll send you more detailed pictures if you want. We can do porch pickup in Franklin. Um, this is all set up in our garage. If someone wants to come by and actually look at some items, you know, we can let you in our garage here two at a time or so. Um, take a look at what you need. And cash or PayPal or Venmo works great. Any other apps that we can, I don't know Sounds what other good. apps there are, but all right, cool. All right, guys, thanks. And um, I think that's all we have for now, except for a final goodbye from the missus. So farewell, be safe, peace.